Sooner or later, we all begin to understand that love is more than verses on Valentine's and that life doesn't always turn out like a Hallmark movie. But know that love is here and now, real and true, and it's the most important thing in our lives. I am the bride's little sister, her better half, our parents' favorite child. The list really does go on. But for those who do know me, you know that my sister is my absolute best friend. Growing up, just the two of us was better than anything I could have imagined. You know, typically during a father of the bride speech, you welcome your son-in-law to the family. Well, that ship sailed a long time ago. <laughs> Tyler has been part of our family for the last nine years, and Tyler's family has felt like family just as long. I, Tyler, choose you, Madison, to be my wife. I love you with everything I have in me, more than I can even describe. I promise to soak in every moment with you, to slow down and enjoy the good parts of life, especially today. So, I want to raise a toast to Tyler's future kids being Mets fans. To Madison and Tyler. Tyler Ginch, the day we have been hoping and dreaming of since we were 17 is finally here. If you would have told me then that I'd marry the boy who I spent hours talking with at the SJV fair, I would have said you're crazy. But I believe if someone told you you'd marry that girl, you would have told them you know, because that's just who you are. You never spoke of us in the short term, instead always sharing what you saw for us in the future and all of the hopes and dreams you had for us. Since the day I met you, you've been everything and more that I've needed in a person. You've been my best friend, my rock, my shoulder to cry on, and the first person I want to run to with good news. We've experienced a lot together the past nine years, and you've always taught me that no matter what life has to throw at us, we will always be okay because we will always have each other. You are the kindest, most passionate, funny, and lighthearted person I know, and I cannot wait to continue to grow our life together. <laughs> Most of all, I promise to love you unconditionally for the rest of time. This is the happiest time of my life, and I promise to never forget this feeling. I love you. Although I first questioned the whole idea of a boyfriend, I never once questioned whether or not Tyler was the person for her. Tyler, you've shown my sister nothing but love, kindness, and extreme patience, because we both know she requires a lot of it sometimes. You've made her bad days better and her good days great. And I know I can say on behalf of my mom, my dad, and I, we're so happy that you've been in our family the past eight years and that you'll be in our family forever. Tyler. Do you now take Madison to be your wife, to have and to hold her from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for today, tomorrow, and always? I do. And Madison, do you take Tyler to be your husband, to have and to hold him from this day forward, for better or worse, richer, never poorer, 
in sickness and in health for today, tomorrow, and forever? I do. The relationship that we built up from childhood to this moment right now, it's something that I couldn't thank you anymore for and that I'm going to cherish until my last day. I'm overwhelmed with joy today, not just because of this occasion, but because when I look at the two of you, I see your mother and I, and I am extremely confident that your next 30 years are going to be as fulfilling and rewarding as they've been for us. I love you both. Husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss your bride.